Finally tonight, Olympic etiquette. With the Beijing Games less than two weeks away, the athletes aren't the only ones in training. Lots of ordinary Chinese are practicing for the day East meets West. Here's NBC's Mark Mullen. This is the Changping Charm School in Beijing, which is training 1,250 young Chinese women to serve as Olympic hostesses. They may be in pain, but you would never know it. Through 12-hour days of grueling etiquette and protocol practice, learning to carry Olympic medals just so, and elegantly greet Olympic guests, they grin and bear it, knowing they will be China's most glamorous representatives. Yes, very exciting. The government also wants everyday folks to mind their manners, with the half-million Olympic guests coming to town. So... Officials here have publicly posted a list of eight things Chinese citizens should, by all means, not ask visitors about. Maybe I shouldn't ask foreign people about their religions, uh, the, about their marriage, and um, about their salary. She's right. Those are three of the taboos. The others, don't ask about age or what somebody does for a living or about health. And don't ask about what the government calls personal experience or even for a home address. Chinese American Lu Chen Mishki, known as China's Mrs. Manners, runs an etiquette institute. I think this is actually one way of showing all hospitality. To even the playing field, the Chinese press also published a guide to teach foreigners about Chinese customs. For example, at a restaurant, never leave chopsticks upright in a bowl of rice. It's considered rude because it very closely resembles sticks of incense, which people leave in shrines to commemorate the dead. Oh, and don't give a Chinese person white flowers. They're usually for funerals. Also, when serving tea, it is considered bad form to point the spout at guests. If foreigners mind their manners and the Chinese, some of whom are even taking cheering lessons, are the happy hosts they aim to be, this could be the most polite assembly of sports fans in history, at least until the moment the games start. Mark Mullen, NBC News, Beijing.